Hey everyone, this is Adam Holland, and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you, uh, or I'm going to try and have you at least guess what you think I have in common with this bowl of soup, or this bowl of stew, and this uh, parachuting cliff diver right here. And uh, I kind of came up with this concept after I would just kind of been sitting and reflecting on my past couple years online, and uh, kind of what I've gone through to get where I'm at, and everything, and... Uh, one of the phrases that I've heard uh, come up is uh, from a lot of entrepreneurs is uh, the word surrender and just surrendering to yourself, surrendering to your mate if you're in a relationship, um, surrendering to uh, your God if you're uh, religious or you know whatever it may whatever it might be. And uh, I really surrendered uh, to my business because. Uh, I was no longer willing to live in fear. I did not want to live in fear anymore. I was very sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. And uh, as you can tell, this is going to kind of relate a little bit more to the, this guy first because I don't usually have a lot of fear in uh, eating stew. But um, what I'm getting at here is a lot of people are very willing to invest uh, $500 in a business, $250 in a business, $3,000 in a business, uh, even up to $10,000 just start off their internet businesses or franchises, whatever it may be. And um, I found a lot of people that they don't want to take the necessary risk to be real entrepreneurs. And when it comes to the, the cliff diving example here, which I'm going to get into here, is... Uh, let me relate this to like pay-per-click advertising. Actually, I'm going to go over to Notepad here so I have a blank screen. And you guys can see my ridiculously odd and uh, not so great drawing skills, but hey, cool. I still, I still enjoy it anyway. If this is the cliff and you've got the guy up top here, <clears throat> a lot of, it's like an X with a head on it, but whatever. Um, this is the guy here and he's got the little parachute on his back and he goes to jump off the cliff. So many people are on like this 50 foot cliff here. This is 50 feet. And they go and then they jump off and they've got their parachute on there, but they, they don't have enough time because of this 50 feet to open up their stinking parachute. And what happens? They, got, they go splat and you get, you know, dead business owner down here, you know? But I can't draw the other. Uh, X's for his eyes or whatever. <laughs> it's too small. But, you know, if, if and let me kind of get to the, the, you know, skip to the point here is if you're out there spending $50 in pay-per-click a month and you're only producing 10 leads a month, um, you're probably ready to shoot yourself in the head at this point in your business because 10 leads per month um, is probably making you close to, if not, $0. And when you're trying to invite leads to webinars or uh, ask people to call you up or uh, to get their questions answered, or you're, call, or, or you're asking people on your autoresponder list to go to a teleconference, a teleseminar, anything like that, if you're only pumping 10 leads per month into your business, um, you're probably just killing yourself slowly, uh, quite honestly. And But everybody thinks, you know, I don't want to jump from this high... Um, you know, from this high cliff without starting small. But they start way too small and they jump this small amount and their parachute won't open. I mean, if you've got, uh, if you've got a $600 budget for your pay-per-click, you know, if you've got $600 set away for your pay-per-click, spend that today if you can. <laughs> spend there at least this week so you can test and track stuff a little bit better. Um, you want to give yourself some time to test and track stuff, but Spend the 600 bucks. Don't stretch $50 times 12 months and there's your 600 bucks. Time will kill you, <laughs> you know, when you, and, and, and you'll be a very frustrated business owner. And in three months, you'll do uh, the, the lily pad game where you've got the lily pads here. And this is business opportunity number one. And this is business opportunity number two. And this one's business opportunity number three. And this one's number four. And you just go into this whole cycle of... Um, let me go back to the, uh, I'm not going to try and do like a little frog, I guess. I don't know, whatever. The frog just jumps from lily pad to lily pad. Meanwhile, a whole 12 months <laughs> have gone by and you still made absolutely zero dollars. Why? Because you're too busy hopping 
as opposed to you know or as too busy spending your marketing on startup rather than spending your marketing where it should be where in, in your advertising so if you've got that six hundred bucks five thousand dollars whatever your budget is you've got to give yourself ample time to jump off that cliff and then somewhere down here you've got to have that parachute that's on your back open up into that this is horrible whatever open up into that um into the you know the, have the parachute open up and catch that wind and everything and what i relate to this as far as the stew goes is if you guys have got a stew and is this is the best stew in the world this is the my bowl of stew if you have one of those little eye droppers you if you if you, hopefully you're familiar with what I'm talking about. There's a little medicine dropper kind of thing. It looks like a little tube, and it's got a little tip on the end here like this. And then the whole back side of it here is uh, rubber, and you squeeze this end, and it sucks the, uh, the liquid in here. Um, I'm sorry, you, you, I mean, you squeeze it, you put it in the water, then you let it go, and then it sucks the, the liquid in or whatever. That's like going into your business or into your marketing, and you've got this amazing stew in here with all these different vegetables and meats and all this other kind of stuff that's in here of course you won't hopefully have blue vegetables and blue meats you know whatever but that's like going in there with an eyedropper and trying to get a little taste for your business meanwhile all you're getting is broth and you're leaving all the best parts of that stew in there because you're not willing to take risks so um, get over your fears get to the point where you've realized that you have absolutely nothing to lose um, and this is one of the, the benefits I had of being absolutely broke and unemployed two years ago was I had nowhere else to go. I either was going to spend that money in marketing um, this month um, or I was going to not spend money, have no chance of making any money. And then by next month, that money was going to be gone anyway because it was going to go to bills that should have been getting paid or whatever. So if you've got any kind of an asset, put it into your business. Do whatever you can. And again, I'm not, I'm not a financial consultant or an accountant or anything by any means I'm just telling you what I've done I'm not telling you what you should do but based upon my experience if you're going into your stew with a little eyedropper here and you're pulling out just the broth you're missing all that meat and you're missing all the true profits that you should be getting because you're only pumping in 10 leads per month or 10 leads per month nah. 10 leads per month I did it again <laughs> 10 leads per month when you should be doing that kind of stuff on a daily basis 10 leads per day and then optimizing it so now instead of $50 getting you 10 leads per day now $50 is getting you 50 leads per day and, and if you're not willing to take those risks and put that money into your advertising um, I highly suggest you visit this website uh, this website has fared me very well for several years. It's called monster.com, and this is where you get a job. Because, again, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, but entrepreneurs, I heard this from uh, a seven-figure networker, a <laughs> seven-figure marketer, Mark uh, Hoverson, if you're probably familiar with him. He said entrepreneurs lead with their wallet. <laughs> so many people um, can take, if you look at your calendar, you got, you know, today is day zero, and you look in your calendar 90 days later, um, if you didn't spend any money back here, you probably didn't take the actions for those last 90 days. But if you bought that course for a thousand bucks, you know, or if you put that thousand dollars into your pay per click, now after 90 days, you're like, man, I put a thousand bucks on this thing. I need to keep going to make sure I get my return on investment. Whereas if you put in zero dollars, you're probably not doing anything for 90 days or 900 days. It really doesn't matter. You know, so put in that time, put in that uh, that money, and I think I've made my point, guys. Go out and just make it happen. Take massive action in your business because literally guys you got nothing to risk <laughs> you have absolutely nothing to risk right now so uh, or the the reward is gonna be far greater than the risk if you have anything to risk whatsoever <laughs> so uh, like I said take advantage guys go uh, get moving on this take some actions and I love to hear from you guys on your results bye bye